Hey YouTube, this is uh, AOD Productions here with a new uh, update on uh, my HO scale layout. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I actually, no, I should say a couple months ago, uh, I acquired a um, my uh, new uh, Walther's 130 foot uh, cornerstone uh, turntable. And uh, it uh, sat around the layout for a little while. Uh, while well, I was finishing up school in June and uh, when, af during uh, when I went up to the Triennial in July, but uh, after I got back, uh, I decided to uh, install it. So I went ahead and, uh, you know, the installation wasn't easy, obviously. It involved a lot of um, modification of the bench work. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it behind there, but um, that's where the uh, turntable was uh, put in. Now, as you can probably tell, obviously, this is one of my reefers right here, my G-scale ones. This is where I store them underneath the layout when I'm not running them outside. And also a lot of my other G-scale equipment, but anyway. Um, but yeah, as you can probably tell, uh, that was where I chiseled in the section for to allow it to drop in. Uh, that took a while to do. Um, but also I had to cut out the hole in the uh, bench work. It's actually, um, a rectangular hole underneath the foam core. The foam core basically is a circular pattern that allows the turntable to uh, just fit right in like a glove, whereas the uh, rectangular pattern is more sort of for structural purposes on the other portions of the lab. But in this particular area, um, structure isn't so much a problem, it's just uh, ease of installation, and in this case it was the easiest method of installing it, so I went ahead and Kind of, I kind of fitted as, as I went. I didn't really, I just sort of would chisel it out and then kind of uh, check it and then chisel it and check it and chisel it and check it. And, you know, after a while I finally uh, got it to fit in properly, so. The engine servicing facility, also known as the uh, roundhouse and machine shop, are also Walther's cornerstone kits that I purchased in, um, I think it was mid or late 2010. And, uh, I originally purchased them a long time before I actually got the turntable, so if you've ever seen some of my videos, you might notice that they have been in there for quite a while, uh, whereas the turntable uh, wasn't there. It was just sort of a blank space in the bench work, and I hadn't even cut out the foam core or anything until uh, recently. Um, but yeah, it's uh, seven stalls, as you can probably see. Uh, it's actually, yeah, including the machine shop. Uh, but it's it's two uh, Walther's uh, stall kits. There's the main stalls, which is three stalls, and then there's an add-on three stall kit. So it's a total of six main roundhouse stalls, and then you also have the machine shop track over there, which adds a seventh stall. And then you've all also got uh, two uh, outdoor tracks. I, I Eventually I want to add some more, uh, but right now I'm kind of working on um, other stuff. On here it goes. I had to program it in so it lines up properly. And 51 all just barely fits with the PA, the unit on the back, it just barely fits on the table. But fortunately it's just enough for it to fit. So, and uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it around, 360. So. I'm going to select the track, which is the same track that I'm actually on, uh, and then I'm going to select it again, and uh, it'll do a full 360. 